Good morning everybody. So in today's video I am going to be testing three of Charlotte Tilbury's products. Um, currently I only have her contour wand in the light shade, the highlight wand as well. Um, so I picked up foundation, powder and then the bronzer as well. Um, so I got the Herbers Flawless Foundation in 8. I have tried this once. I can't even remember if it was for a video or not. But I just thought I would give it a whirl. No, just in case I don't like it then. If it's been lightly used you can send it back. And see what the shade and stuff was like as well. I did really like it. But <laughs> I would say if you if you weren't a fan of Huda Beauty's foundation personally I find this really similar, like just the way it looks on the skin, the coverage it gives, except it is a bit lighter in the sense that it doesn't necessarily feel as heavy as the Huda Beauty one. Um but I'm gonna wear this today. I then got the Flawless Finish Powder in the shade 2 medium and then it was actually Jamie Genevieve done an advert for the bronzer he got was it 15% off or 10% well, I think it was 15 and I went for the shade she uses because she uses 7.5 in the foundation so I thought it would still work for the one that I got and this is a shade medium so I'm going to use those three today and then I also got um, a wee sample of the magic cream and the was it magic serum as well so I might actually try these as I don't <laughs> I'm always kind of scared to try samples in case you end up really liking it and then that's what 70 quid <laughs> for, for a moisturizer so I'll try them anyway but just pray that I don't like them or don't like them enough to actually spend the money on them I'm still finishing my tea Yes, let's get into the video. So I'm just going to go in with the wee serum first. So you know, they really should not have wee samples like this. No, for people who can't open shit. Like myself. Christ almighty. I'm struggling. Lots of shambles. Good brief. Smells very bougie. It's like old lady smell. Um, not that that's a bad thing, but it's like what you picture with the old ladies that would shop. I would wear like. Chanel perfume and like Estee Lauder foundation <laughs> stuff like that oh, 
Oh, I never should put the cream on top. Oh well. I really should think of easier ways to get samples out. I'll need a primer after all this. <laughs> all these creams. I might just use a pore primer just right on my nose just because my pores are hitting me right now. I think I prefer the smell of the cream. If it even has a smell, I just... All I can smell is that serum. It smells kind of lavender-y as well. If you don't like lavender, you might not like it. So, I've just applied my primer. I let the moisturizer and serum sink in for about five minutes or so. And I am going to go in with the foundation now. Packaging is so bougie. I love it. What's that? Is it there? I'm sure you've all seen it before. So, I'm gonna do. Should I maybe do like one side first? I'll maybe zoom you in as well. I'll do a wee bit on this side. So I'm actually trying to put on less than I did the other day <laughs> because it was very similar to Huda Beauty's foundation. So I'm trying not to have a look like that. Not that. I don't like it. That's usually the, my like, go-to foundation for like a night out. But just because I'm going into boots today, I would like it to be not as masky. So I've done a light enough that my freckles still shine through. So I am going to go in with quite a <laughs> the cow is just stirring at me. I'll let you see what I have to, what I have to deal with. So I'm going to go in with a lighter coverage concealer just because I want to keep my freckles and everything coming through but I might actually just go in with like a bit of eyeshadow and darken some of them down. So I will be back once I have concealed, contoured and then I'll try the powder and then the bronzer. I've contoured slightly and I'm just going to go in with my 
flawless finished powder. And this one is in the shade 2 medium. Packaging again is very bougie. And that is what it looks like there. I'm just going to take a wee small powder brush. This is just my wee B concealer. And I'm, because the foundation is quite full coverage and matte. I'm literally just going to powder right with the concealer. So the chin, the elbow, the nose, and then just a wee touch under the eyes. I actually put a wee bit. under my contour it is it's very smooth and what you mean doesn't look heavy I do have a wee bit of dryness on my nose here, but I think that is because it got a wee bit burnt. So bright, like the pearls. <laughs> I like that. That's nice. So I'm just gonna go in with the bronzer. And this one again is in the shade medium. Although, whenever I looked at it, I feel like I could have went for the tan shade, but I'll see how it goes. Oof, it's huge. It's just in comparison, actually, compared to the powder, because I've seen people, not joking, but I find it quite funny the size difference. And these are actually refillable as well, which is pretty nifty actually. You must just have to get like a wee pair of tweezers and just like poke it out. Doesn't smell like anything. <laughs> Disappointed. I'll come in with my wee wand brush. I've only used this once, so it should be okay. And I'm just going to start. Forehead, I think. Oh no, this color will be fine. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to have that much like, warmth to it, just because it doesn't look that warm in the pan. It's blending in really nice. Like it's not really not taking any effort at all really just going over the powder contour really nice it's not going patchy I'm going to put a bit just on the nose and then just under my lip. So it's just blended on top of that just seamlessly. For some reason this side always looks worse than this side. So this is my goose side, so I don't really mind. So I'm just going to finish off the rest of my face. Um, nothing too fancy, really. And then 
I'll come back and just do like a wee roundup of what I think and if it's worth the money. One hour later. So I have just finished the rest of my face and I actually really like it. I think the foundation is lovely. I could see me using this day to day, especially with this kind of coverage. Or I could definitely see me building it up to the Huda Beauty coverage and using it for like a date night, night out, anything like that. Even though it is a matte foundation, I feel like my skin can still breathe. I would have typically dry skin. But I don't think it has accentuated like any texture. Doesn't feel dry, doesn't feel like it's sucking the moisture out of my skin. <laughs> I really like it, sorry, I was just looking at it there. Um the powder I really like. It's just smoothed under my eyes, my forehead, even my chin. It hasn't, even though it's a shade medium, I don't feel like it added much more coverage, but it did just brighten up those areas really nicely. Again, doesn't feel dry, just glided on the skin, doesn't feel like you really have anything on. And then, bronzer. <laughs> the bronzer I really like. In the pan it looks a lot lighter and more cool tone than it actually comes on the skin. Um, I literally blend it like butter. Like, it didn't go patchy, didn't stick to any areas, especially on top of a matte foundation as well. I feel like that's, sometimes that's the worry. Uh, if you have drier skin, you wear a matte foundation that might accentuate dry areas and then whatever you put on top of that might cling or stick to those certain areas but I just blend it on top of the foundation, on top of the contour powder it just gave a really nice warmth to the skin without being too like orange <laughs> like this sometimes if you go maybe a bit a shade too dark, you just have like an orange forehead, which I am. Um, I do that sometimes, but sometimes I like the look of that. Wee finger mark from when I was doing my then. But no, I really like how this base is looking. Um, I was actually surprised the foundation was what 39 or so. It's not even in the 40s, it's in the 30s. Um, which I was really surprised at just because her skincare is so expensive. But for the price of this and how well it sits on my skin, I will definitely be repurchasing that. It's definitely worth the money, in my opinion. The powder. Powders for me is something that you know, like I have a Revolution one there, that, is it the Beck and Blot? Even that wee elf under eye. It's like, because I only really use it in the centre of my face, it's kind of like, you know, that elf one was what? Four or five pound. So to pay, how much is this? In the 30s as well, probably. You no, know, unless you're gonna be die hard using it every day then it's worth the money but for me I could easily just go back to using like my wee elf one I'm a revolution one doesn't bother me the powder though I would say it's definitely worth the money it again was it's a 15% I think it was like 33 but even just the size of this is worth the money it's probably the, one of the biggest bronzers I have Um. The tone, the formula, definitely worth the money. I'll probably repurchase this. <laughs> My bank hates me. But overall, I love everything that I've tried. 
Um, I'm also going to try it a bit more and see how it works, especially with foundation in colder weather. See if it will still work for me then. But yeah, that is the end of the video. Um, I really hope you guys like it. Have any other brands? <coughs> cruelty free brands that you would recommend I try you can let me know um, but yeah thank you for watching I hope you guys liked it and until next time